Starting off with first C. There are not a lot of ways you can grind belly. Firstly you can just save up the money you get from the quests you do. Well I have 2x money, so I get double money from the quests. Moving on to the second method. It's just collecting chests and joining another server or rejoining if you are in a private server. This can be slow if you want like 1 million belly, so I recommend sticking to the first method. Upper sky is also a good place to grind chests. What? So while I'm reaching the chest area make sure you guys liked and subscribed also join my discord server there is a permanent dough giveaway ongoing. This place is also good for farming chests so you can just set spawn and start server hopping. The third method is going to be farming bosses. It's the best method to farm level and belly at the same time in first C. Once you kill a boss you just server hop to another server with the boss and keep doing it over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Okay so those were the methods I knew about in first C now let's go to the second C. So now we are at 2nd C. So in this C there is a new fun way to get out of belly within minutes. Continuing with the old methods. If you are like a level 700 or 1000 there is not many things that you need to buy. So till the time you reach level 1000 I recommend you just keep farming quest and server hopping for bosses. So coming on to the best method for farming cash in my opinion which is sea beast hunting. You can get over 200k belly for a single sea beast kill. So once you get 2.5 million belly and 5k fragments I recommend you get the death step fighting style. If you are wondering how to get it, you need to kill the ice admiral in snow castle and you have a chance of getting the library key. Then you can go over here and unlock the room and you will see this NPC and note you will need 400 mastery on dark step fighting style. So you guys can see I got 400k cash from a single sea beast, because I have 2x money you can still get 200k cash from one sea beast which is pretty insane, but you still need a good mobiset to kill sea beasts fast. And you can do it with multiple people, to make it even more faster. Also if you get lucky you can get the fist of darkness which you can use for the Sibor grace or summon blackbeard for the dark coat and some exp. But that's pretty much it for second C. Okay so we are in third C now. Again for this C you could keep doing her quests, or kill bosses and server hop, and you get a lot more money from bosses in this C.
so I accidentally just found a chalice. Let's see how much money does Indra give us. <laughs> 110k with 2x money which is kind of bad, but we still get 1500 fragments. Moving on to getting chests which I don't think is that efficient, but you could still do it since you get good amount of money from chests in 3rd C. Top of Haunted Castle has 3 diamond chests, but getting up takes a while without flight. Sea beast hunting in this sea is also pretty good in this sea, and it will be easier for you, since you are a higher level than second sea. Lastly the rumbling water sea event. Fighting 3 sea beast at once may look hard but it isn't. If you are with a group of people, or even if you are a fishman you can solo this. If you are not a fishman the only thing you should be scared about is the beam pushing you into water. One of the sea beasts despawned, but we got 700k cash just like that.